नमस्ते गाइस राजेश एफ नमस्ते टैक एंड दिस इज़ माय रिव्यू ऑफ द वन प्लस थ्री सो इफ यू आर प्लानिंग ऑन बाइंग अ फोन विद इन रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड बाई द वन प्लस थ्री इफ यू आर प्लानिंग ऑन बाइंग अ फोन विद इन रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एक्सटेंड योर बजट बाई रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड एंड बाई द वन प्लस थ्री इफ यू आर प्लानिंग ऑन बाइंग अ फोन विद इन रुपीज थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड सेव दैट सेवन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड बाई द वन प्लस थ्री सीरियसली इफ यू हैव अ बजट ऑफ एनी वेयर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड just ignore any other options in the market and just buy the OnePlus 3 this phone is very good for its price you're not going to find a better phone in the market right now than this 3 years after initially entering the smartphone market OnePlus has finally managed to deliver the true flagship killer that they promised and ironically this time around they're not calling it that let's talk about the display of the OnePlus 3 first a lot has been said about it inaccurate colors blah 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 and what not and yes they are correct the 5.5 inch optic amoled display of the OnePlus 3 does not display colors as accurately as it should but it's not something that is going to hamper the usability of the phone in any way i switched to the OnePlus 3 from a Galaxy S7 edge which is considered to have the best display in the market right now and i and while i did notice the off colors it was not something that hampered the experience of using the phone in any way and with the oxygen os 3.2.1 update oneplus has added an srgb mode so that the display can show more accurate colors just like the display a lot has been said about the multitasking performance of the oneplus 3 as well so for a phone that comes with 6gb of ram the oneplus 3's multitasking performance is not that great yes that is correct but again it is not something that is going to bother you in any way it does not affect the usability of the phone in any way Post the Oxygen OS 3.2 update, I have managed to get 15 applications up and running on the phone, including four heavy games, with all of them being present in the RAM of the phone. No one multitasks with 15 applications at once, two or three. I do, I doubt people even use 15 applications throughout the day. So really, be rest assured that the OnePlus 3's multitasking performance is just fine. Yes, the phone could have performed better since it comes with 6 GB of RAM. but again it does not matter 6 gb of ram on a smartphone is utterly useless as of now maybe it will make more sense down the line 2 3 years down the line but by that time the snapdragon 820 chipset inside the oneplus 3 will start showing its age a note about the design of the oneplus 3 it's not special it's not remarkable in any way you get a normal unibody aluminum belt with antenna lines running at the top and bottom and there's a significant camera hump at the rear as well but i really like it the phone's sleek design feels very nice to hold and i really like the slight curved edges of the gorilla glass in front of the display it's a very subtle touch but it really adds to the overall experience of using the device this thin design however has led oneplus to compromise in terms of battery capacity on the oneplus 3 the handset comes with a 3000 mah battery which is slightly lower than the 3300 mah battery found on the oneplus 2 There's nothing to really worry about here though thanks to the Snapdragon 820 chipset a more power efficient display and other components the OnePlus 3 delivers absolutely stellar battery life during my usage of over 3 weeks i was consistently getting almost 5 hours of screen time from the phone this was with one sim card installed on Ford, on Vodafone's nascent 4G LTE network in Kolkata and i was hammering the phone throughout the day this is with one hour of voice calls around 2 to 3 hours of browsing on Chrome purely over 4G network and what not seriously this phone is not going to disappoint you in the battery life department and in case you do need to charge the phone once during the day you have dash charge dash charge is amazing simply amazing it's not the first time that i'm using a phone with some sort of quick charging technology but compared to all of them dash charge has impressed me the most when charged with the bundle charger and cable the oneplus 3 charges blazingly fast you can easily get up to 50% of charge in just around 30 minutes Dash charge has in fact changed my charging habits. Now instead of charging my phone when I go to sleep or when I wake up, I charge the OnePlus 3 when just about an hour before I'm about to leave for office. Yes, there is a catch though. To get these amazing charging speeds, you have to use the bundled charger and cable, which can be a huge problem if you're traveling or you're out and about and don't have access to it. Talking about the camera, the 16 megapixel shooter of the OnePlus 3 features an f2.0 aperture and is optically stabilized. in daylight it's a great shooter in low light it's an above average shooter and it fails utterly in the video recording department thanks to the poorly implemented ois as you can see a lot of jitters in the video and even audio recording in video is not up to the mark 
It's not a bad camera by any means though. I just expected it to be a bit better in the low light department. But then again, I'm coming from the Galaxy S7 Edge, so my expectations were a bit high to begin with. So that's it for this video guys. This was my review of the OnePlus 3. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.